In this video I'll be showing you how to fix Valorant graphics driver crash on your Windows computer. So if you've been trying to play Valorant and then it just keeps popping up with an error message saying that the graphics driver has crashed then this is how you fix that issue. And the first thing that you need to do is open up File Explorer and you then need to do the percentage symbol and type in local at data and then the percentage symbol again and press enter. Next you need to click anywhere in the list and then press V and you now need to open up the Valorant folder. Next you need to right click on the save folder and go rename and we need to just simply add temp to the end and then press enter. This is now going to remove all your in-game settings so you will need to reapply any settings and stuff that you have made within Valorant. If you do decide at a later date that you would like to try and use your old settings again, then you can always rename this folder back to saved. So the next thing that we need to do is just close down File Explorer and you then need to right click on the start menu icon and go to device manager. You now need to expand display adapters and you will now see your graphics card. So I've got an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Super. So depending on what graphics card you have will depend on what you need to do next. So I've got an Nvidia which means I need to go to the Nvidia website to download the latest driver for my graphics card. If you have an Intel then you will need to go to the Intel website and if you have an AMD graphics card then you will need to go to the AMD website. I will pop a link in the description below to the websites where you can grab the driver. So in this video I will be showing you how to update your Nvidia graphics card but something that you can do quickly if you want is just see if Windows has got the latest driver installed by right clicking on your graphics card and then going to update driver and then search automatically for drivers. If this does then update the driver you can then go ahead and launch Valorant and then you can see if that helped but I would still recommend that you go to the manufacturer's website for your graphics card and see if there is a newer driver available. So you now need to click on the link that's in the description below for Nvidia if you have an Nvidia graphics card. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. So straight away you can see it has selected my graphics card. But you can now choose your graphics card in the list. So the first thing that you need to do is select your product type. So I've got a GeForce and then the series. Mine was a 16 and then select the 1660 Super because I had a GTX 1660 Super. You can then select your operating system and you then need to select your download type you need to ensure that you do select game ready driver and then select your language. You can then go ahead and press search and then download. And you then need to go download again. Once the file has finished downloading, you then need to run the setup file and you will end up with a window that looks like this. You then need to go OK. Next, you need to choose if you'd like to install just the Nvidia driver or if you'd also like to install GeForce Experience alongside the driver. I would recommend that you do install GeForce Experience if you want to be able to see things like your in-game FPS, capture screenshots within games, record your games and also use GeForce Experience to optimize your games. So I'm going to keep that option selected. Once you're happy with your selection go ahead and press agree and continue if you do agree to the terms. You will now have another two options. You need to select custom and then press next and you then need to tick perform a clean installation. And this is going to restore all the Nvidia settings to the default value and remove any profiles that you've created. So if one of those settings that you've changed, if you have changed any, are causing Valorant to crash, then by doing this will resolve that issue. You can now go ahead and press next and it will begin to install the latest Nvidia driver to your computer. And there you go. That is how you update to the latest Nvidia driver on your Windows computer. If you now restart your computer and then launch Valorant that would have resolved the graphics driver crash error window you was getting. So if you did like the video click the like button below and if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe then I will see you in the next video.